What's up, duelists? It's your boy, Randage. Welcome back to my channel, Ed Ed Edison. And before we get started, guys, I got to talk about Rise of Edison. This tournament is going to be June 5th to 6th on the Format Library Discord. If you guys ain't a member of that Discord, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> the link is in the description, okay? You got to show up to this event. I'm contributing prize money. Give a nation's contributing prize money. This is going to be fucking huge. If you guys liked... Edison Legends, you're going to love Rise of Edison. Okay, Bro. don't forget, June 5th to 6th. I am joined by Keegan. Welcome back to my channel, Keegan. Today, <laughs> um, you, you know what? You know, first first up, just go ahead and say hello. Say hello to the duelist. Let everyone know you're here. What's up, guys? Thanks for having me back on this channel, Randy. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, Keegan. You are a mainstay on my channel. Try, Today, we're showcasing... <laughs> Okay, what, what have we got today? What have we got today, Randage? Is it uh... a... <laughs> Dude, today we are showcasing my Blackwing Return deck. Yes, you heard it right. Blackwing Return. Keegan, why don't you just go ahead and let the people know what's in this list? Okay, so uh, one day, Randage messaged me and he's like, Hey, Keegan, uh, I need something fresh to play on my channel, uh, Ed and Edison. And I was like... And you, you were like, I want to play Blackwings and I want to play Return from a Different Dimension. And I was like, you know what? That sounds kind of lit. Why don't you just take some Greffers, Absolutely. shove them up in there, and I sent you like a really whack ass deck list that didn't even have Gale, <laughs> and you perfected it, and this is uh this is what you what you came upon, and it looks fucking scary as shit. We've got a game today, it's absolutely a threat against Aaron Liza, and I'm excited to see what your deck can do, Randage. Here on, All right, let's let's fucking let's <laughs> fucking get into it on my channel, dude. On your channel, you might have to give me a little bit of coaching. I've uh. I've never played a deck with this much raw power before. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you a little bit. I'll give you a little bit. I'll, I'll point you in the right direction. Facts, facts. Okay, okay. Randage, you're you're pretty uh you're pretty versed in this format. You know, like you you're a you're an Edison Titan. Some people call you. Some people yeah. call you. Yeah, the the they they kind of call me the the Terminator, if you will. Yeah, the Terminator or the Godfather of Edison format, uh, with your channel at Ed Edison. But um, I think you're about to redefine the whole thing with this deck. It looks it looks fucking insane. <laughs> I, I sure as hell hope so, dude. Th this is like good Vayu Turbo. Let's be real. Honestly, yeah, it looks like it looks like Vayu Turbo, but instead of the Rikos and the Caiuses and the Necrogardner, you've got like Shuras and Kalutes, which are just really scary cards for obvious reasons. And then you've got Black Whirlwind to boot. Randage, it's your channel. It's your deck. What are we picking here? Always, always got to go with that paper, dude. Got to get that money. Got to secure the bag. Okay, tactical draw, tactical draw. You're always paper. Does that does that include, uh, again, for the run back? Um, you know, usually I'd say yeah, but I feel like Aaron Liza, like looking at this profile picture of a uh, dark magician girl, kind of giving me that vibe where I feel like uh, we should go uh, rock here. Okay, okay, a second tactical draw. Now, this is where things get really interesting, right? We've both picked paper, we've both picked rock. That means we have three yeah, options. Now it's, now, it's kind of just like a, now it's kind of just like a quick draw stare down, isn't it? You know, it's kind of like guns to the face. It really um, is. I, f I, feel like, I feel like we go back to our tried and true in paper and we get that money, dude. Okay. Scissors is is never scissors never good. Oh okay. god. Okay. It's all, all right. right. <laughs> it, it's all right, Randage. Uh that happens to the best of us. Happens to the best of us here on your channel. Um but it's okay. We'll we'll bounce back. This deck is is threatening and our hand is insane. So I'm excited. Absolutely. Dude, me too, man. I really love having you here on my channel. <laughs> If you guys like um, this sort of thing, make sure and leave Randage uh, a like and a comment and a subscribe. Honestly, he just broke 400, but he would love to hit 1,000. That sounds great. Absolutely, yes. Yes. Okay. Um, it would be absolutely insane if we hit 500, like, right before Rise Medicine. Just like a monumental moment. That would be nuts, dude. That would be nuts. I'd be so happy for you, honestly. I think we're just going to summon the Sirocco. I mean, it kind of yeah, sucks yeah. if we get bottomless or deprisoned, but we have burial to put it back in case like we really have to. Right? I'll, yeah, I'm feeling the Sirocco. Alternatively, we could summon Vayu and attack with Vayu. Because if that's a Raikou, it'll be forced to hit our Vayu. 
Um, you know, I feel like that's a very spicy take. Um, let's just try it out. Let's just throw the value down. All right, let's run it. And if it's something huge that we can't get over, we can always collute through it. So, absolutely, we'll give it a go. We'll give it a go. All right. We'll ask if they're using the effect. They say no. I'm not going to use the collute here because then we'd just get two for one off this DD Warrior Lady. Yeah, no, I think we're just chilling. We're just chilling. Yeah. How many of these cards do you want to set, Randage? Do you think we should set both Bottomless or Mirror Force or just Mirror Force? I'm the kind of guy that likes to set both just because of Starlight Road. And uh, they've already got one set too. So the only way this really backfires is if that set is heavy, in my opinion. Okay, we'll set both. And I think we're we're in a good spot. If they switch the DD Warrior Lady and summon further monsters, we can get this we can get a juicy mirror force off. Yeah, absolutely. Looks like they're they're looking to do that. Yeah. I'm I'm pretty okay with just mirror forcing the DD Warrior Lady alone too. How does that sound to you, Randage? Um Yeah, because DD's kind of a threat. Um it's gonna be hard to get removal on it without it using its effect later so yeah i think the mirror is okay okay cool now they'll have to commit something hopefully the second thing they commit here is not um not good you know hopefully they just play a, a bad card but that's not likely dd warrior lady is commonly seen in fairies and stun so we're probably looking at some type of fairy or stun deck That's oh, a, that's a good draw. Yeah, it is. That's a really good draw. We could go for uh we could go for a pretty big play. We are risking a lot into torrential. But not really, right? Because if we if we go Greffer and we summon Armed Wing and they torrential, we still have Vayu plus the Armed Wing in our grave, right? And we we'll, we still have the burial too. So it's not the uh, worst, right? I, I think the best approach here, like how I would do this, um I would I would summon Greffer and just use his effect. Um send the value and then just attack with the Greffer. Okay. And yeah, we, we still have that. that value play chilling. Yeah, that sounds good. We'll try that out. And this is sending the second copy of Vayu, right? We're not sending plague or right. right, yeah. We just want to get that value out of the deck. Okay. Cool. Let's go ahead and send. This is interesting. I guess we're going to see... Um, oh, a second copy of DD Worry Lady. Uh, that's not the worst for us, though. Because, like, Greffer was kind of our worst monster, so to speak. So... Getting that guy traded for the DD Warrior Lady is it's not that bad for us. Yeah, that was that was kind of what I was thinking is, you know, if it's another DD, then this Greffer's gonna kill it, they'll banish whatever, and then we still get the DD off the board, and we have the value play for later. Yeah, for sure. Okay, it looks like they are probably playing fairies. Stun usually doesn't play Dimensional Alchemist. And this is gonna be a tough matchup for us. Cause um well, it's just a bad matchup for a lot of reasons. Um, I'm thinking if we collute this now, uh, I guess we should ask priority and damage step. What do you think? Do you think we should collute this now? If they have honest, it forces the honest now, but, um, this is a really tricky spot. We could just let it happen too. I th well, um, let's see. I actually have to read this card because I've never seen this card before in my life. Okay, so the uh... for the viewers, the way it works is once per turn, you can banish the top card of your deck, and then it becomes 1,800 attack. When it's destroyed, you get to add one of your banished cards back from your banished to your hand. So um, it's basically an 1,800 monster. It dodges our bottomless, unfortunately. And here we have the option to decide whether or not this... Um, we want to collude this. 
and give them the chance to honest or give them the reanimation. Um, basically, the reason yeah, we would... I, I, I think we should collute here. Yeah, the reason we would we... collute here is because we have um, burial plus uh, Vayu armed wing, and if they have a clear board, we can make a pretty big swing. I, I think this is a, the best value we're going to get out of Kalut right now, too, um, because we just don't have any others in our hand. We'd have to make the yeah the armed wing. So, yeah. Exactly. So they take a bit of life points, and they get back basically one of their removed from play monsters. They opt to get back the Dimensional Alchemist, which is a little bit slower of a play than getting back something like the DD Warrior Lady, but it is naturally pretty good against us. Brain control is a really good draw because I think the way we win this game is we do a big push and then we clean up with a brain control. You feel me? Yeah, I, f I feel that. Yeah. So let's go ahead and try for the, um, the value. Hmm. If the back row is something like mirror force, we get fucked. Okay, it's not though. Okay. It's not. Okay, so it's bottomless. This is actually not bad because we have the the burial. Yeah, um, we do. Yeah. So we'll put back these uh, three, and we yep. can we can use the value effect with the armed wing now to make an armor master, which is pretty good. It should be a decent bit of damage. We are kind of just hoping there's no gores at this point. But if there is gores, then... Yeah. What can you do? Yeah, that would be kind of bad. Yeah. We still have the brain control, so maybe we can make something happen. And looks it looks like, like they don't have it. Yeah. That's really good for us. Really, really good for us. And it's also really good for us they didn't get back the DD Warrior Lady. Because then they'd be able to set that and completely blank our pressure. So, yeah, I think I think they were banking on us making the value play and having the bottomless. But since we have the burial, then I think they're actually in a pretty big situation here. Yeah, they need to do something pretty big, and that's okay. But we have brain control, and what's also nice about this is this is putting the other value in the grave, so we can make another monster. Exactly, and now they're just dead because of the brain control. So their play, uh, not getting back the DD Warrior Lady and not setting it. It did kind of lead them to play into our game plan and gave us a chance to win a game that we are actually pretty behind on resources. So yeah, we'll go ahead and use the value effect. And we could even do something like Blizzard to get information. I'm fairly certain they're playing fairies, but there is like a really, really, really like small percent chance they are not playing fairies. There's a small percent chance they're playing like a light stun deck that has Dialk and Shining Angel. So if we go Blizzard and try to bait a Herald of Orange Light, then maybe we can get a bit more information about their deck before we beat them. If that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, because we're going to beat them here anyway, so. Yeah. Yep, and it looks like there's the Herald. So we're going to be able to brain control the Shining Angel and go for lethal. But now we do know they're on fairies, and we'll be able to side accordingly, which is good. Lucky for us, we drew the brain control, because this it would have been really tough for us to push through something like an Honest here. They could still have Gores. They might have drawn it for turn. But that does not appear to be the case. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like they have it. That's game one in the bag. Yeah, really lucky to secure game one in a tough matchup. But you have some good ones in the sideboard for this, don't you, Randage? What are you? Yeah, I think I'm pretty. I'm, I think I'm pretty prepared for this. I'd say definitely the light imprisoning mirrors for sure. Okay. And do you like? Um... Do you like skill drain here too, or does that seem a little bit 
uh, two-sided, double-edged. I'm not. I'm not too sure yet. I I honestly haven't had much practice with the skill drains yet. That's like the one card in my side that I'm not too sure on yet. So like we could try it here and see how it works out, especially for the content. Um, uh, yeah, for sure. We'll try out skill drain, and then I think we could also try out deck devastation virus. That gets yeah. That seems pretty good too. I mean, from all the monsters we saw, it hit all of the monsters we saw. So yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's great. One of the cards I don't love against this matchup is Bottomless Trap Hole. It's pretty hit or miss for me. Yep. Yeah, I agree. I think I think we can um, probably take out one of the Ick attacks. Yeah, we could go down on um, one. And we could probably cut a cut yeah. like a Book of Moon. And I don't know. I don't know, Randage. Maybe Gale. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Yeah, it wasn't in the original list anyway. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't even there anyway. <laughs> we could side out a Sirocco. Don't you normally like to side out Sirocco? Yeah, yeah. Norm normally, yes, I, I do take out one of the Sirocco's, so I think okay. that looks good. Yeah, this looks more or less like what we're trying to do. Actually, you know what? We're bringing in Deck Devi, so we should leave the Sirocco. Now that I'm thinking about it. Um... Maybe, oh yeah true yeah maybe we can cut the space typhoon they usually don't play too many traps so just a sp the space typhoon is probably not going to be too important yeah right? that makes sense yeah that's 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 why i wanted one of the ick attacks out as well so i think this yeah this looks better yeah that looks pretty good normally i would side out the sirocco but since we have that deck devy i think it's i think it's pretty important yeah keep... yeah the deck devs deck dev makes it um this is a good hand yeah, that's a pretty damn good hand. Um, the return's a little, little deadish right now, but it's good to have it. I'd say. I mean, if our Shura dies here, which it's looking like it might, because there's these back rows, um, then, then it could be really good, because if it does die, it's gonna get banished because of this banisher. So. It's an yeah, and it's actually kind of kind of neat that we had the return here too. Yeah. Because of that. Um So we do lose okay. our Shura. I think we can set like we could probably set return deck devi and one of these. Or maybe we could only set two. I don't know. I think we should keep the Devi. Um the only way it's gonna be up is if we top a a Sirocco, right? Unless we go for the Kalut play, but well, here's... I think we definitely set return here. It, yeah, we for sure set return. If we set um, deck Devi, here's like kind of my thought process. Next turn, we're probably going to return the Shura. If the Shura connects and attacks over Banisher, then we get a Vayu from our deck, and we're going to want to synchro with the Shura and the Vayu because the Shura is going to get banished at the end of the turn because of return, and then we'll make Catastor, yeah. and then the deck Devi will be live. So. Assuming our Shura resolves, our deck Devi will be live. So, I think just... Yeah. I, I think I kind of just want to set three here then, honestly. I think we should set the mirror with it. Okay. Let's try it. Um, If they have Heavy Storm, well... They have Heavy Storm, they have Heavy Storm, you know what I mean? They hit the deck Devi, Looks which... Like it, yeah. That's not bad, because we'd rather them hit that than either of our other two, right? Yeah. If they had hit return, we'd be pretty uh pretty clipped. Ah shit. Yeah. Maybe siding out typhoon wasn't the move. <laughs> huh. Well, we couldn't have known that they'd be siding in or just straight up playing so many back row, right? So if this goes to game three, we'll have that um for us. For sure. I think we can just set mirror force and pass or we can return but i don't like paying 3200 for shura into two back row that could be kind of yeah dangerous. no I, I think we just set the mirror and chill we're not we're not super up against the wall just yet i agree and we could honestly mirror force this i think i i kind of just want to take this one 
Um, if it comes to next turn, definitely mirror. Okay, we'll take this one. We'll see what we can draw. Because because let's say we do get that return play, we're still going to be losing this life points anyway. So, facts, facts for sure, for sure. And if we had drawn a monster there, it probably would have been better for us to just save the mirror. Whereas now, I think we're going to have to probably mirror next turn. But yeah, yeah, that's the plan. Um, we're not going to take 16 again for sure. Hopefully they overcommit since we've let it hit twice, but if they don't, then whatever. Yeah, it was good to wait that extra turn to get that information. This guy definitely goes to grave, though. That's a fun little fact. Banisher's no longer in play, so the cards are no longer banished. Huh. Well, good thing we boarded oh, in. The orb. They have the orb. They have the orb. But we have the drain. So. We do have the drain. We're actually kind of chilling. We can do something next turn like skill drain, return our Shura attack over it and then Icarus the back the back rows that would be pretty good um this is problematic but not really again it's just not that big of a deal the defense hmm okay Rhoda, not, not the worst. Did we board in the DD Warrior Lady? Do you remember? I feel like we should have. I don't know if we did though. Now that I'm thinking, yeah. For I think game, we didn't. For game three, if it goes to that, we will definitely board that in. Um, but I still think we're all right here. I think we do want to skill drain and then ask if this is okay. Um, this is gonna bait out any sort of like nonsense and then now we go for the return and see if this is okay it was kind of nice of them to uh set up our return for us don't you think <laughs> yeah a little bit it's a good thing that um bottomless trap hole kind of like the commonly played traps like bottomless and deep prison kind of help you set up for for return that was one of the biggest reasons why i wanted to do this because i noticed when i started this format everyone plays those cards so yeah they're like the mainstay um trap cards in in edison format so um pretty good shit uh are you attacking the orb or are you attacking the dd warrior lady Well, I don't think we can. They've already right. I don't. They've think already we're... used their MST, so like they can't catch us in the battle phase. They can if um, they have honest, and then we just die. But true. But <laughs> that being said, I, honestly, just because we die immediately to honest, I think we have to attack the orb. Yeah, because if we lose, we lose anyway, right? So. Yeah. So I think we have to attack the orb. They have mirror force, but we have Icarus attack. Um, yeah, this is the time to use it. Yeah, target DD Warrior Lady. And. That one. I'm just picking a random one. They set pretty much all of them at the same time. It's kind of. Oh, dude, they brought in oh. Knock. What the fuck? That's interesting. Maybe they maybe they thought we were Bayou Turbo. Dude, I think they did. I think they, <laughs> I think they actually thought we were Bayou Turbo. That's crazy. I think since we didn't use our normal, maybe we should just Rota and put Gref on the board in case we die. Yes, I think we should actually set Greffer because a lot of the monsters in um in the in the angels deck can't attack over 1600 true yeah and if they have honest this actually doesn't kill us if we set it so yeah 
Yeah, exactly. And also, it's nice because their knock is gone. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh shit, call the haunted. <laughs> okay. Dangerous. Now that they can summon two monsters in one turn, Honest will be killing us, which is unfortunate, but yeah, that's brutal. We can't really stop that. Damn. I think we definitely are going to bring out the, the skill drains for game three, and we're going to bring in the... Um, we're going to bring in the, uh, what, what was that card? The DD. Yeah, the DD for sure. I think the skill drains, they didn't look so hot there. And we can probably bring back in like Typhoon or Icarus attack because we saw like all those set cards. So what do you think, Randage? Yeah, there was a lot of back row that game. Um, I think because we're going first, uh, maybe Ick is better than the MST, but Ick is also like restrictive in what it does as well, so they've been they've been playing into it though, so maybe we just go with the Ick and say fuck it. Yeah, fuck it. And normally the fairy deck doesn't play Starlight Road, so fuck it. <laughs> yep. Yeah, it just depends on the build, of course, but usually they don't. I think this looks great. I think us on the play with light imprisonings and stuff, I think we should be able to take this one over we had a bit of a tough hand last game with too much redundancy like we had light mirror and skill drain and neither of those cards really did anything against their draw unfortunately yeah we we also had the deck dev so like yeah our hand was was not too great it was a bit clunky i think this game once we have the icarus back and the dd warrior lady as like an additional threat like i think we'll, we're a little bit more threat dense and it should be fine it is a tough matchup, though, because they do have the orb, and Drain is one of our few outs to the orb, but... I, th I think maybe we should put the Book of Moon in then, yeah? Well, or does that not work? You can book the orb and then summon monsters, but then you attack the orb and it, it doesn't die. It just flips okay. up. Okay. So, it does help to a degree because it lets you summon guys. But for the most part, our outs to orb are going to involve Icarus attack. Or, like, this trap does shoot's a pretty good out. Um, yeah, I mean, this is, just, this is just a hand and a half. Would you ever, like, pitch this blizzard? I wouldn't, probably, but... Uh, right now, I would say no, because we don't have an immediate play if we do this. Um... And with, with our draws, like, you usually draw a better discard. Like, let's say we got any level, like, four. That's better to pitch for the Blizzard the next turn. Um, I would, I would probably just set and pass all the, all the back row. Set all the back row, but don't commit any of the monsters, is what you're saying. Yeah, that's probably what I would do, yeah. Well, if, let's say we set Greffer, right? If we set Greffer... Next turn we draw like a level four or something. We could pitch it to use Greffer and then summon Blizzard, and have. But we know they're playing Knock, so they might have sighted it out. Like I don't they know. might have sighted it out after seeing our configuration, after seeing the Shura, after seeing the return and the, you know, the skill drain and stuff. They might have sighted it back out. But I, you know what? I, I think your play. I think your play is right. I think we should still do this. I think we should dust shoot in the draw phase just to get the maximum information. Yeah. Absolutely. Interesting. So that heavy is going to hit us pretty hard. We're going to have to solemn that. Which one of these dudes do you like taking here? Um, I, I, probably the angel. We don't really have a solid way of dealing with it, right? No, unless they swing it into mirror force, it's actually, it's not great for us. So yeah, yeah it's, it's got to be. The it's angel. definitely not. It's definitely not the banisher because we can just run this over with Greffer if we have to. Well, they um, do have. They do have deep or prison. Or they just. Or they expend their. Yeah, or they expend their deep prison. But we could also just set Greffer and hang out forever, basically. Yeah, it's also another play. 
Yeah, so it's not it's not the worst for us. Um, the heavy does suck because 4K is a lot, but it I is. think we're still okay. Yeah, I think so too. Dangerous. That that also makes me kind of consider like, we are we gonna take sixteen hundred if they play the oh they didn't play the banisher, or any of their back row. Um, I guess I should ask if that was a misclick. Yeah, it was a misclick, cause they just accidentally. It looks like they ended really quick and didn't play any of their cards. Yeah. Um, does, does, um, does mirror forcing this make sense? Or are we just going to 2,400 and just biting it? Well, I they have the D prison, so there's no guarantee we can run this over unless we book it. Um, well, we could, we could take this D prison and then we can, yeah, we could book the Greffer on the D prison. That's what I'm thinking. Right? I th I think we just take the 16, yeah. Okay. It it puts us low, but there's really no reason to mirror here because like if they deprison us, we have the book and then we're still chilling and we know the rest of their hands, so they have to top something else. Exactly, exactly. So I think um I think what we want to do here is Greffer attack. I mean, that's that's pretty much our only play. We can't activate Greffer. Yeah. Because it's a cost to... Oh, no, I guess we could activate it, but it would banish our the cards that we send. So um, It would banish, though, yeah. So we have to just go to attack. Yeah. And then we will book it, just because we can't afford to take any more damage. Oops, our book gets banished. And um, this kind of walls out the banisher. One thing they can do is Herald of Orange Light is a tuner. So they could summon it and they could synchro with Banisher to make a level 5, but that'd be good for us because it two-for-ones themselves into Mirror Force. Right? It does, yeah. This is this is really good, yeah. Yeah. This so, is actually kind of ideal because we're going to still have our monster too. Yeah, exactly. And this Greffer is going to be really good. It's We're going to be able to do that play that I had mentioned the first turn, which is... Um, Ooh, especially with that draw. So so what was the other card we knew they had? It was... Um... Return from the Different Dimension is the last card we know. There's one more card down now, but I can't imagine it's like a Torrential or anything, or else why would they make an Android, right? Because Torrential doesn't Wait, protect they have, Android. Wait, they have Return? Yeah, they have Return. Okay. That's their last card that we know off of. So if they're, set, if, the, if they're setting both, then that other card must be good, right? Uh, possibly, yeah. It's got to be like a real yeah. card. But either way, I think I'm I think flip. we go. I, I think we go for the. I think we go for the two turn clock. Really. Yeah, I think so too. One thing we can actually do is go for game. <laughs> but we don't need to do that. We don't need to do that. Yeah. Yeah, we could go. Yeah, for game no. Here. But it kind of um, it strips us strips us of a lot of our um our staying power in the face of any back row. So let's just go for the two turn clock. You know what they say, Randage, on your channel. Yeah. Uh, uh, never lose, don't lose. Never, never losed. Never losed. Never lose. Never lose. Okay, there's a there's the bottomless. And now since we know the last one, we could actually summon the Greffer and attack for 3,400. Or we could hold it. I think we put on the gas. Yeah. We, we know the cards return, right? So they have they have to top. Yeah, you're right. They do. Man, this has been a really close game. I think if they had just stayed on the banisher, it would have been a lot harder for us. Especially because they had the bottomless, so we would have had to flip our Greffer into it. This is game next turn if their if their top doesn't save them because we could just normal blues even and they're dead. Yep. Exactly. That will be. That'll be 100 over lethal, yeah. And that looks like that's that. That's it. Yep. The game. That was a really close game. And a really good showing for your... That was uh, a good set. Blackwing Returns deck.
Well played, Aaron Liza. Thanks for joining us on Randage's channel. <laughs> yeah. Hey, guys, don't forget uh, Rise of Edison, uh, June 5th to 6th. Discord link is in the description. Hope to see you guys there. Thanks for watching this video, and thank you again, Keegan, for coming on my channel. Peace. What's up, Duelists? Welcome back to the Ed, Ed, and Edison channel. Today we've got a deck. It's Absolute Garbage. That's the name of this. This deck is, is called Absolute Garbage. James, what do you think about this deck? I like the name. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I think this is a Keegan deck for sure. I, I wouldn't personally build or play this, but here we are, and we're going to make the best of it. We're going to make the best of it. We're going to make more than the best of it. We've got some combo. cool combos, James. we got the... The Diamond Dude Soul Exchange combo where you get to keep your battle phase. The Diamond Dude Cold Wave combo where you can play spells, then use the Cold Wave. We got the Mobius. All right, let's just go on that. Let's just go on we the game. The Mobius, we baby. got the Mobius. We got the Mobius. Mobius plus Monster and Tribute combo. <laughs> That's a combo. That's a combo. We're playing against uh, Channel Owner and Founder Randage today. Uh, do you have anything to say about Randage before we, we pick... Rock, Rich paper, scissors. Is on a fast track to dominate this format with his innovative four card different gladiator beast. Or sorry, Blackwing deck. Yes, yes. I, I sent him I sent him that list, actually, because he wanted to play Return Wing, so so it is my list. But you know what? It, you know, return wings? Do anything absolute garbage return wings? What kind of tip do you want? Just click scissor. Absolute garbage. It's Dude. Always scissor. Dude, honestly. <laughs> okay. It's not always scissor. It's not always scissor. Okay, sometimes it's paper here. Sometimes it's paper. I fucking told you. I fucking. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, it's cool. It's never paper there. It's never paper there. He looked out. Dude, it's always paper there. I told you. Ah. Okay, it's cool. It's cool. Our hand is stacked. We're chilling. Oh my. We're chilling fucking now. Fucking god. Are we chilling now? Soul exchange off the top. One time, baby. Soul exchange. Well, we can nuke this, actually. We can debris Black Rose. So, it's fine. I guess we should do that. Yeah. Unless we... Unless we what did he search? Sorry? Kalut? Uh, I didn't see. Honestly. Um, yeah, looks like Kalut. Looks Maybe like nothing. Kalut. Kalut was the search, yeah. Um... I think going for a Black well, Rose isn't the worst. It gives us two tokens, and then we'll have Tribute Fodder for a Monarch next turn. Yeah, I think we have to do that. Let's do it. I think so, too. It's unfortunate if they have something that interrupts this, which is, like, every trap card in the game, but... They won't. No. No trap cards. Yeah, the set card is a bluff. It's a Rota. Oh man, okay. So we've got to send Stratos here, which is a little bit awkward. Oh shit! Yeah. I didn't think about that. But it's okay. I don't know if that changes my play. I guess. I guess it's okay. Rhoda is just gonna search the diamond dude. Um, we're gonna see. I we're gonna see. It had to be an E hero. Yeah, it does have to be an E hero. We're gonna see though. We're gonna see. Okay, he says okay. So the dandelion's coming out here, which means we can just blow this shit up. Blow this shit up. Let's Two card black go. rose. Two card black they rose. Got our, they already got a plus one. But. Okay. Okay, cool. Okay. Um, All right, we made it through that one reasonably alive. Yeah, actually. I would, I would roll up for the diamond dude in phase two. I think we have to. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. It's our last target. Um, we don't want to draw it. But all things considered, we're we're okay. As long as one of our tokens sticks around, I think we've we're in a we're in an okay spot. If one of our tokens doesn't stick around, though, we we might have. What some if you hope the second rolling? That would have been an insane. Play. <laughs> I can't imagine that happening but if it did <laughs> shit <laughs> that, he learned the format very quickly yeah god damn <laughs> okay we're gonna take a big hit here but that's that's fine as long as no bora okay no bora medium size hit one third of our life could have been worse no back row this is easy easy kaiz 
Yeah, we have no other place. Boom. Easy, Caius. We have nothing else to do. Yeah. We still lose. Well, we, we'll probably lose this game because <laughs> uh, <laughs> they have Kalut and our hand is <laughs> Diamond Dudes and a Cold Wave, but... <laughs> You We're know, loaded up on Diamond Dude, so, you know. An, any other Blackwing kills us. Another Blizzard, another a Soroka. Yeah, yeah. Well, and I have a hard time. Right. Yeah, I, I, figured, okay. I figured it was probably something like that. I don't even know what else. Could okay. have Dad, too. Could have, well, could have Dad. Not the worst yeah, draw. Good. Not the worst draw. We'll... That's good to see. You love to see her just blanking her own Cold Wave real quick. Okay. Okay, Soul Exchange, not the worst. <laughs> I would play that. <laughs> I would do it. Yeah, I don't think we have a choice. It kind of sucks because we're not getting any value out of the Mobius, but I think we just puts have to do it. Puts him at four darks. Yeah. Wait, no, it puts him at three four, darks. It's four darks. Yeah. Oh, okay, rare. Right, blizzard, Blizzard. Yep. Yep. We have to fade a second Blizzard, Dad. Okay. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Nice. Nice. Okay. Well, now, I think we just attack. Yeah. It could be Icarus, could be like Vayu or something. Yeah, I think it's probably Icarus, Vayu. Yeah. And now I think I would set the Eater. We could save the Eater, we could go Diamond Dude. Yeah, but if they have Shura, they draw Shura, you know? They would have to draw or... Shura, yeah. But even then. But but I think... I like... I like... The reason, I the reason I want to go Diamond Dude is now they have five Darks, but two of them get banished and then they have Dark Armed. So well, I think we lose it either way. Yeah, I guess we do lose to Dark Armed either way. <laughs> it's just but I would rather not is, get this. Is. Also, if it is Icarus, right? Then they can bring back their guy in right. Icarus, which I would rather have the Diamond Dude happen. That's true, but they could also get back the thing and swing over the face down with their armed wing. I don't. And I just case, don't see that being Icarus. I just don't see that happening. I just see it. I kind of do. I weirdly do see that happening. You know what, James? I let you pick RPS. I'm, I'm, I'm doing the right thing here. Oh, I think you should have summoned it and bluffed the snowman. <laughs> or sorry, said it. <laughs> oh, we could have. Yeah. I don't know. See, I, hey. Wait, did I put it at the bottom? Don't understand. I don't even know where I put it. Know. To the top of the. Put it at the top. God damn it! Okay, hold on. Okay. Because I just feel like... I mean, you this know is probably like... He's probably, gonna, he's probably gonna normal summon Sirocco and then banish the thing. Oh, no, I guess not. No. Yeah, I mean... I think we get Dark Armed here. Yeah, I think we definitely get Dark Armed here. I think we're getting sacked. It might even be a set return, which would kill us. Oh, God. Bruh. Why? Uh, Dark Armed, though. Yeah, he doesn't have Dark Armed, which is actually okay for us. I mean, we lose our whole board, but we What have... he could have done, too, is... Well, never mind. Doesn't make sense. Ah, uh, right, right, right. Forgot yeah. about that guy. Yeah. Minor problem, minor problem. But we have some good draws. We have three Miracle Fusions. Sure. We have, um... That's not one of them. But... Yeah. I was not thinking about burial. We sh definitely should have. Said I was thinking about burial. Either. Yeah, I was thinking about dark armed, and I was thinking about. Icarus. But it would be it would be kind of the same position, more or less, depending on how we act. Yeah. This guy was a value one, right? So we're gonna go ahead and blow up the armor master. Nice. This way, we're not dead to Kalut either, which is nice. Man. Okay. Nice. Cool. Okay, you know what? I guess that's good. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's something. Can I pass the turn? Is that is that gonna happen here? Man. I we're dead to so much shit, it's not even funny, but we're also chilling. It's kinda of funny. It's kinda of funny. This deck sucks. It's absolute garbage. Yeah. Oh yeah, hate to see it. Oh, Kill all your own cards. Alright, good play, good play. Alrighty, he's but got he's the glute. glute. Yeah, he's got the glute. Okay, that's fine. 
We've got some. We've got some stuff. We've got some stuff for Blackman. We got a decree. We've got a crow. Single royal decree. <laughs> Why are you farting a crow before the right. bottom? Of course. Oh, bottomless is pretty good. Bottomless is pretty good. All right. What do we not like against black wings? Most of the deck, if I'm going to be honest. I think we board in the crow. Do crows so we good? Should. I'm boarding in the crow. <laughs> I don't think we want foolish. Probably or... don't need three Mobius. I feel like we do want three Mobius. Oh yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. We want Mobius. I would take out the Sangin. I don't yeah. think any of the hero shit is that good, but I guess we have to keep it. I don't know. Yeah, I mean like Take out Mirror Voice. We could get We're really in decree in those other tracks. Yeah. This I looks... would just do those. This looks I guess. Right. I don't know. This looks I. Right. You know what? Whatever. Doesn't but... Fuck it, run it. Fuck it, run it. I love that we have three heroes for our three miracle fusion. <laughs> Dude, who this is, built this? I did. I built this deck. I take full responsibility and full credit for this absolute garbage. <laughs> if we win this, legends. Edison legends, some might call us. We didn't even do the Rise of Edison intro. Fuck. Fuck. I already know I'm losing this set because we didn't do the right Everybody intro. sign up for Rise Medicine. <laughs> Here we go. Hey buddy, let's fucking go. Okay, this hand's pretty good. Hmm. Let's start with this guy. And let's go get... Let's go! This hand is good. Yeah, this hand is good. I think this hand has a shot. At accomplishing something. And as a foul. This could potentially be a W for absolute garbage. Let's get it. So James, give give the people a little bit of a like a story time. You got a, you got a good story for the people. <laughs> you got any any fun fun facts for the people? You got any anything to Top sort of? Not too good. Um. <laughs> We're swinging. Yeah. I think we're just swing pass. I think we should set some in. No, he has Icarus. I understand, but like, all right, we fine. Keep slamming guys. All right, fine. All right, fine. For you, James. For you. Like I get it. I get. It. I get what can happen here. But we have like it sets up our miracle, and we just keep doing stuff. And like it Facts. turns on our debris if you. Facts. Facts. Otherwise, uh, we're just like poking, poking, and it just like gives him more turn. You know, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. Another thing we could have done is uh, mm, spun the wheel. Diamond dude? Mm. Maybe? Set time, dude. Bluff the stone. <laughs> <laughs> At any point in this, in this set, I'm, I'm going to opt for that. What the fuck is this? This is whatever, right? We don't I've never seen that card before. Right? Yeah. I just don't care about this, right? I just let this happen. I can't stop it, obviously, but like... You don't have any way to stop it. And then I'm just going to summon Diamond Dude Priority and attack over it, right? Um, I guess we should upstart first. I mean, nobody's there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I would just do that. Ooh, that's a good one. I guess we could just set that. Uh... We could do that. We'd be looking at like maybe an end phase Icarus there, but that that'd be okay. I think I kind I... of like like setting the decree pass because I also if we draw Destiny draw and like Allure and stuff. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's okay. I mean, that's still kind of fine though. Yeah, especially if he attacks here, it's like, all right. <laughs> What are you gonna do? Yeah, he has to commit like, more to get over the snowman eater at any point. Yeah, and then we're gonna miracle him. Yeah, or Caius. Just depends. Right. right, right, right. If he summons like a Shura or something, should I bottomless it? Um. I'm not sure. Uh, he's not sure here. I probably wouldn't. 
honestly. All right. For sure. <laughs> you know, Randage loves Edison format. He loves it so much. Oh, speak Dude. of the devil. Dude, what do I what do I what am I doing over here? Speak of the devil. Let's slam this shit. Let's see what we get. But if you had mystical ref panel, what would you do? Would you be upset? Uh that card's not legal, so we would get the uh we would get the dub. We would so get you a, would be upset. I would be furious. <laughs> we Did can... we I, I I think we should just flip snowman. And then start going for some Kaius shit. I think so too. Yeah. Kaius yeah. number one. Kaius numero uno. Yeah. Start fighting through this stuff. If this gets Icarus, well. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. That's fine. It's okay. Ugh. All right. Fucking bitch. Okay. Now, the real question is what do we do here? Probably debris. For what? Black Rose Swing? Uh, actually. Ancient fairy. Do we? We don't. Oh, what in defense? No swing. We still attack. I don't think. I don't think that's a good. Pl I would rather miracle here than do that. All right. Honestly. Well, I'm saying we could do both. We could go like debris oh, and, no, and no, miracle. No. Don't be. Don't be. Well, it, our debris. Okay, look. We're gonna end up having to pitch the debris if we miracle here, because then it has no targets. So, like, we might as well just use it and get a beat stick out of Wait, it. Wait, it has no targets? If we miracle, we banish oh, our we, own. We miracle, we build. Yeah, 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 true. yeah. Do we ever just pass? Uh, if we pass... Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I, I, I was just giving that as an option. I wasn't saying do it. Oh, no, it sounds all right. It sounds good, actually. I don't... It, sounds, it does sound good. It does sound good, honestly. It, it sounds right. good. I don't want to, like, just commit our dudes and get nothing out oh, of them. Oh, shit. What if he kills us? That would fucking suck. <laughs> No cap. Oh shit. No dark arm. No dark well, arm. No dark arm. Please. It would need to be dark arm burial. Yeah, it would need to be dark arm burial. No dark arm. No dark arm. No dark arm. But if it is dark arm burial, then we're in for some hurt. Ooh, yeah, that would not be good. This is actually scary, but it's it's okay. At least it gives us the option. Next actually, turn. dark arm collude is also game. Yeah, dark arm collude is game. Burial collude. No matter. Okay. Good start. Good start. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Not like this. Where's my crow? Where's my crow? <laughs> all, right, all, right, all right. This is fine. This is fine. This is good, actually. Okay, 1700. All right. Not so bad. We're big dead. Oh, yeah. We're I believe we may be dead. <gasps> okay. All right. You know what? All right. Uh, GG's. Uh, okay. GG's. GG's. Right. GG's. Uh, all right. 